Jesus could receive power because he's a real man. Yet being God the Son, he holds all power in his hand. True human and true God, king over every king. Ruler of the nations, Lord of everything. By force suppressing crime, politicians rule the land. Pastors guide the church with Jesus' gentler hand. Two kinds of ruler distinct, it's true. Yet both should serve God's purpose in all they do. Two sons of oil anointed in grace stand by the true God, each in his place. Zerubbabel the prince, a politician by right. Joshua the pastor, guiding with Jehovah's light. Church and state by heaven's design. Both are God's servants, but not intertwined. We must honor those in authority's place. But they too must honor God's holy grace. Politicians can't interfere with the church's rights. Yet they must enforce God's laws just and right Against idolatry and blasphemy they should take a stand Working on the Lord's day should just be banned Two sons of oil anointed in grace Stand by the true God, each in his place Zerubbabel the prince, a politician by right Joshua the pastor, guiding with Jehovah's light. Church and state by heaven's design. Both are God's servants, but not intertwined. Elect Christian men, who the Bible embrace. Wise and honest men, to rule with law and grace. Christians should not give full support to godless leaders of any sort who tolerate false religions and sin's public voice and allow for unborn murder with a euphemism choice. Two sons of oil anointed in grace stand by the true God, each in his place. Zerubbabel the prince, a politician by right. Joshua the pastor, guiding with Jehovah's light. Church and state by heaven's design. Both are God's servants, but not intertwined.